Grasso lang po yan ng uh, huge, huge crowd dito sa loob ng Coneta Astrodome. Greeting you. At kami po ay bumabati muli. Maliyala po kasama si Dr. J. Andy Howe. Game number 3 live mula po dito sa Pasay City, the Coneta Astrodome. Ito po ngayon ang second quarter. Abante ang Alaska after the first at ang uh, unang salta ng Formula Shell Sapal. So we just checked in para kay Bong Hawkins. Jim Reyes also checking in para naman kay Johnny Amarientos. Sa kabilang party naman, we have Santos coming in for Richie Tixon and you have uh, Kerry Saldana coming in for Pablo. Okay, sabi ni Naron, aso palpal mo ako sa loob at dito naman ako sa lapag. He does have a good touch from the perimeter and he gives Shell a one-point lead at the start of the second quarter. This is their second taste of, a lead, of the lead. Pero kagad pinawi. May Darwin is Melo. Three-point shot. Parang meron siya. One in every game yata. <laughs> Interesting statistic ang nabanggit sa atin dito ng ating uh, pinagpipitaga na si Willie Marshall, yung ating mong head statistician. <laughs> Sabi po ni Willie, dito po sa second, first two games of this series, Kenny Redfield has wala na. not scored. Wala, wala na, wala na. Bali wala. Bali wala. Uh, Ayan, tinira na ni Redfield habang maaka. Ang ganda pa naman ang build-up ko kay Willie, oh. <laughs> Ganyan talaga daw eh. Matala si Sean Chambers na bulabog at nabitawan ng bola. Formula Shell, naitablan na po itong score na po. 10-40 remaining. 25 all. Post up play there for Kenny Redfield. Santos gets the good angle to give him the ball. The double team is expected. Kulang ng isang pasa yung ginawa ni Santos. Ipinalik kay Redfield. Pass whipped inside. Anticipated. Ngayon ako yung Jeff Picariaso pagkatapos na nasa gift ni Poch Winyo. Picariaso. Very steady para kay Coach Tim Cohn. Ito si Cho Sean Chambers. Castello has made one triple here. Chambers at pumatao sa kanya si Terry Saldana. The bad pass. And that will be a back in the line. Laban sa Alaska Milk. Oh, our boss man, Mr. Bob Angeles on your right. And of course, Chairman Jun Bernardino enjoying this game number three. And of course, our commissioner, si Ray Marquez, and Mr. Sunny Barrios ng PBA office. Shell pa rin ang bola, Kenny Redfield. Sabi niya, dandaanin natin to. Six seconds na kami na shot clock. At may foul na naitawag laban kay Merwin Castello. Second foul ni Merwin Castello. That is the first team foul ng Alaska. It is the second quarter, 9.39 remaining. Well, as the series gets longer, you know, there's going to be more physical play here, as you can, was evident in that last play. Nung drumibe si Terry Saldana and Coach Winyo. Pag ganun, Dr. J.C., nang papaburan mo? Well, Alaska is also a very tough team. I think both have enough uh -huh. tough players on the inside. No? Turnover. Nabitawa ni uh, Benji Paras. Yun ang tinatawag ni Dr. J. na un unforced turnover. Or unforced error. Uy, kinanan. Bente Santira. Loose ball. Si Cariaso pa rin. Ang grabe ang hassle nitong batang ito. And, you know, Saldana is out of it. Yun nga, kaya nga nagalit si Redfield. Tinutulak si Terry. Hahawakan mo na lang ang bola. Hindi mo pa kaya hawakan. Eh, nasaan ka ba? Pass na lipat ni uh, Sean Chambers. Paksak si Cariaso. And it's becoming very physical now. Yeah, definitely. Naroon, crossover move. Sapal, pero may foul sa ilalim. Si Jun Reyes ang tatawagan ng foul ni referee by the Desma. But action is picked up here. Yes. It's a good drive there by uh, Peter Naron, who's using his height advantage against Jun Reyes. And of course, his agility in going around people, there's going to... Yung natin, malamang may substitution dyan para kay Saltanya. Pwede napansin rin ni Coach Narbasa na hindi siya nag-hassle. Yes. O, oh, yun, maagang-maaga papalitan. Ilang minuto lang. Eh, kaya kita ginamit dyan. I expect you to do things. If you cannot do the things that I expect you to do, you better sit down. No, no. Championship ito. Hindi <laughs> ito biro-biro. Yeah, you're a veteran. You should be able to pick up balls. Eh, ang layo ng pinanggaling nga ni Karyaso. Nakuha pa niya yung bola nun. Peter Naron getting both free throws. Yung uh, native ng Maasin Lake. 14 pick overall, but he has certainly lost a piece of lineup of four minutes. Yeah, Dubrez, double pick nice given to him. Great play. 
really knowing how to use the pick. Santos is getting a berating here also from his coach. Not because he, he wants to get mad at him, but, uh, you know, you're not paying attention. On the other hand, Alaska, I think all the players are very focused on the game. The moment and he is called for the foul. Samantala, si Jojo Lastimosa, papasok muli, papalitan si Merwin Castello. So, si Jeffrey Carriazzo switches back to Kenny Redfield. That's right, that's right. Eight and a half remaining second quarter. It's a tight ball game. Ito po ay ating ikalawang deadlock pa lamang. So, Barrett, it's been a very close game, eh? That's right. We have Hawkins about to come in. Sino papalitan niya? Sean Chambers. Chambers will get couple of minutes rest here. Tight ball game at 27 all. 8 minutes and 26 seconds deep to the second quarter. All Filipino lineup para sa Alaska Milk. A lineup that won them the first conference. Samantala may jump ball na napilit si Jojo Lastimosa laban kay Jolly Escobar. here for Jolly Escobar depending on the positioning no? yung timing ng talon but Alaska also forms well kung alam nila disadvantage sila eh, no? naghahanap sila kung saan tatapikin ni Jolly ito napunta kay Romel Santos 8 minutes and 17 tight ball game Santos wala off off to the right at may foul na itinawag laban kay Peter Naron Bruce Paul, foul number one, also the first team foul ng Formula Chef. The score has been stagnant at 27 for a while now. Tixon has come back into the ball game to replace uh, Santos, who gets a little coaching from his coach on the way back to the bench. Eight minutes left dito sa ating second quarter of play. Kilusutan, almost got the roll. Sabalit may foul na itatawag laban kay Jolly Escobar. That will be number three ni Alas. Number three ni Jolly Escobar. In spite of trying to block upstairs, Jolly is trying to get the ball away from Hawkins. You do not do that against the guy who has a grip of steel. I mean, he knows how to protect the ball and he's going to hold it. Ngayon daw yung mga hockey. Kung pagka nakakuha yan, hindi nabibitawan the little animals that they eat for oh. breakfast. Mitis ang tira ni Bong Hawkins. Victor Pablo checking back in para kay Jolly Escobar. You know, considering yung experience dito ng dalawang kupunan sa championship, Dr. J, Alaska's showing a big fighting heart and a lot of confidence na Dr. J. Kasi kung konti dyan ang talaga may championship experience. Yeah. You're talking about Shell. Yes, the Formula Shell. Because sa Alaska, lamang na lamang sila. You're correct. But, I mean, alam mo, you have the leaders on the floor, you've got the coach, and Baras gets away with an easy two points. Kung hindi kaya ng player yan, that's where the coach comes in. You've got to teach your players. You've got to give them the confidence. They've got to believe in you. Well, Chito Narvasa playing in his first championship as a head coach. Of course, nakasama na ni Chot Reyes sa kampiyonato sa Pure Food. Samantala, Jeffrey Carriasso banks one inside. At muli pong abante ang Alaska Milk ng isa. 30 to 29, seven and a half remaining second quarter. See this pick and roll play at ball. Pablo gets into scoring position. He likes the jumper and that's two points. Automatic play. Para kay Victor Pablo. And Pablo having a tremendous offensive uh, half here. Nine points na. Para kay Victor Pablo. But you see, Shell is so much different with Dixon quarterbacks now. And that's going to be a traveling link violation race. Dixon has really come up and surprised me in this series. Now, in this semifinals. I mean, back up lang talaga yan. Third back up actually. And as they signed up Santos as a rookie. Dixon only came in uh, middle of the year. Yes. But he's really playing well. <laughs> he's taking advantage. I mean, naman kay Pablo, oh, Pablo passed up on that automatic jump shot. Richard Dixon drafted back in 1994, fourth overall. Pintis ang kanyang tira. Paras, big offensive rebound, one pick. He goes up, siningitan. Over the backhoot, pero humihingi ng traveling ang mga taga Alaska Milk. So, balik foul ang itatawag laban ni Pochwinio. I think that's true. I think he was traveling no, before he was fouled. No? Uh, you can see this offensive rebound picked up by Paras. Wala na dribble. Look, one, two. Ayan, oh, kumalaw pa pa. Nag-chatcha pa. That's really uh, traveling before the foul came in. But he gets the benefit of the call. He gets a break. Goes to the free throw line. Gets his first free throw. Dixon again is being replaced by Santos. Palitan ng dalawa. 
very very quick he more or less gusto niyang pahingayin si Tixon but he also wanted to talk to Santos before he sent him back into the war oh, pero kaya tang nakakalimutan bata siguro ito sa sabihin ko ulit sa iyo yung pagpapalit na yun uh, gave them one turnover o oh, napaningin yeah. ka ng formula siya so that was a good substitution in that uh, at saka nakapagpasa that six, huh? si Tixon kay Pablo yes. for the shot nangyari na yung what they wanted to happen 3 point ball game Avanti po ang Formula Shell. Alaska, tumatake ngayon. Lastimo sa laban kay Paras. Cariato, nasa gitna. Nilabas si Jun Reyes. Jump shot! Umikotin ko ang pili sa ring. Meanwhile, sa kabila naman, nagpapahinga si Sean Chambers, nagpapahinga si Johnny Abarientos. Pero nandun pa rin yung Alaska, right by the tail of uh, the Shell team. Oh, yun, Benji Fowl, natawagan si Benji. Benji Paras will pick up an offensive foul, number one, laban kay Benji Paras. Uh, si Abarietos ngayon papalitan si Jun Reyes. Jun Reyes contributed four points in the short time he was in. Pero itong si Jun Reyes, grabbing uh, super sub ito. Eh. Ika nga, he, uh, he averages 80% from the field. Halos sigurado ang tira nito pag tumira to. Well, he doesn't take that many shots because, you know, alam niya ang kanyang role at saka responsibilidad. Hindi niya pinatagdagan, hindi niya pinabawasan. But I think... Alam ko rin, offensive foul na natatawag doon dahil pinangga ni Winyo, pero natawagin siya ang traveling. Sigit po itong larong ito, one point game, may timeout tayo. Magandang gabi po muli, Pilipinas. Noli Yala po kasama si Dr. J. Andy Haas sa loob ng Coneta Astrodome. This is the second quarter, only 5.46 to play. Kenny Redfield, dumatake kagad, nalo sa tanang defensa and he gets now another basket and a total of 13 para kay Kenny Redfield. Well, they have created the new play by putting Kenny Redfield at the low post if a small guy is going to guard him and they have got a good passer with a nice angle to give him that shot. At the same time, meron three-point shot yung pabalik, no? Yun yung kinakatakot ni Dr. J na drop pass ni Abarientos. Missed shot. Malaki karyaso. So, but there is uh, Richie Dixon. No, he's Richie not on Dixon the is not playing. Hindi, yeah. medyo nahilo lang yata si Ano. Oo. Oh, hindi si Dixon yan. Ayan. Romel Santos ang tinawagan ng foul. <laughs> hindi pwede mag-foul yun nasa bench. Parang ano yun, yung mga bumubotong patay. <laughs> alam niya, alam niya yun. <laughs> Miss free throw shot by Cariaso. Three point lead. Oh. Biggest lead of this ball game was only five. So there has been no clear breakaway from either club so far in this ball game. No? And that happened early on in the game, Dr. J. 7 to 2 in no the first quarter. No mga mga last Alaska. Day. After that, it's been nip and tuck. Oh. Shell has gotten themselves back in the ball game. Five minutes and 20 seconds left. This is the second quarter. Cinco puntos na po si Jeffrey Cariaso split from the line. At dalawa ang abante ng Formula Shell. 5-10 remaining. Balik sa post. Kenny Redfield. Uy, patasana ng pasang yun. Hindi na expected ni Andy Penny, Jojo Lin. Five seconds sa kanilang shot clock. Three to shoot. Binigay kay Jojo Lin. Nilabas pa. Only one to shoot. Naubos na ng oras ang Formula Shell. Nobody wants to take the shot there, especially Jojo Lin, Dr. J. Well, he's not a layup artist or what you call a creative player underneath the back. He's a jump shooter and he went too deep coming from the weak side to take any jump shot at all. Kaya nga maaga siya papalitan. We need more of an around to make those creative shots when you get underneath and there is defense on top of you. Galit na galit si Chito Narvasa. Again, this is game three ng ating kampionato. This is the Commissioner's Cup. To shoot. Abarientos looks up at the shot clock. Bailout shot. Yes. Right at the buzzer. That's what you call confidence in a player, and Johnny has tons of it. 35 ball ang ating bilang with 425 dito sa second quarter. Johnny Abarientos, meron na pong apat na puntos. Meron ni Totti ka lang half court play ng Shell here. And they use the clock. Ginamit ang lakas. Kenny Redfield making a living in the low post. 15 points para kay Kenny Redfield. He has 6 in this quarter. Remember, he was held down to 18 on game That's number for the two. whole game, yes. yes. And he did not score in both in the second quarter in both game one and two. Oy, gipit na gipit. Mattered. Lastimosa, pinalopo. Oh, wow. what a shot. Woo. That's the third time ang Alaska nakakuha ng puntos from that edge. Dalawa na ni Chambers, isa kay Lastimosa. Kablamuli, 37 all. This is our fourth deadlock. Again, the pick and roll between Dixon and uh, Pablo. Hindi na nag-react si, ano, no? Si Hawkins. 
Och lyssna på Lyft. Loose ball foul under the power. Även till Kenny Redfield. Only the first foul for the Shell import. Att se Jojo Lin now being replaced. By Tevin Naron. Ah, Tevin Perry som där. Tevin Saldana. Och Larry Puss Naron. Och sen nagpalit ang isip si Coach Narbasa. Well, you know, Saldana is also a good player underneath the basket. That's where he operates best. Kaya inahanap niya. Baka kailang pasahan ni Redfield ito pag may ng double team. At saka si Saldana ngayon ang tumatao dito kay Sean Chambers. Katawan-katawan ang ginagamit. Oo, katawan sa katawan. Kilabas-kilabas ni mo sa kanto. Kanto rin yun ang tama nun. A little bit too deep, I think. At the corner. Redfield, hinahanap ulit ang pwesto ng double team. Pasa sa loob, paras, outside, perimeter jumper. Offline, pinapik ni Richie Dixon. Napunta kay Ken Redfield. Perry Saldana, Mintes. And another loose ball foul will be called against Fort Minichel. Terry Saldana will pick up his first personal foul. And we will call the time at the end of the Cannot get any closer than this. Tabla po tayo at the 2.39 mark ng second quarter. 37 all. At ang Alaska Milk ang may possession ngayon. Peter Naron came in to replace Victor Pablo. And a good block of the backdoor play there for Jeffrey Carriazzo. Tight ball game. Tulog na nabanggit mo. Benny Redfield. Paras. Aliyok siya pag tinira ni Paras. Pinapasa niya talaga kay Redfield yun. Dapat assist yun. At si Kenny Redfield ang nagbigay ng sukle. 17 puntos na po si Kenny Redfield. Sabi niya, very offensive-minded siya ngayon. He's probably trying to make up for his previous game, like I said. Everybody now rebounding para sa formula. Siya, sinaroon naman na nakakuha ng rebound. Kaya yung rebound si Dixon. Less than two minutes remaining. Dixon, Romain. Peter Naron, ilusun na si Chambers. Off the glass, yes! Yan ang short ball ni Peter Naron from that area. And all of a sudden, Shell has a four-point lead coming off that timeout. We have Kevin Ramos waiting by the wings to come into the ballgame. Alaska using a small lineup here. Ito na yung pinakamalaking amante ng Formula Shell. Amarientos, ball away. Mikis na naman. And Saldana boxing out well. A minute and 22. Dixon, three-point shot. Wala. Pinapik na Amarientos. He gets to the ball. Look how fast he comes up with the ball. That's a foul by Dixon. Yes. That's a penalty now. Four minutes now. And more importantly, Richard Dixon will pick up his third personal foul. Malalahanin po namin kayo sa halftime. Maraming pangyayari ang ating matutong ayan dito sa game number three. Meron po mga dancers, may mga survey tayo ng ating top PBA players and of course ang halftime analysis ng ating partner si Dr. J. So ang pagkayaan nito. Redoy Teng Su, boss man naman ng Aras Camille kasi take a look at Kevin Ramos checking back or checking for the first time papaltan si Jojo Lastimosa. May nakita ko mga librato ni Wilfred including kicking off I think a football tournament. Maraming sinusuporta hanggang yung mga yung Alaska in the field of sports. Oo. Walang duda yan. Elite sports man ito si Fred Oitensu. Saka swimmer as a swimmer yan. He used to be the head of the Alaska. A minute and one second remaining. Andy Paras has not been very effective in terms of offense. At may foul na itatawag si referee de Leon sa ilalim. That's the difference of Narod and si Jojo Lin. Si Narod, marunong kumat yan. At alam niyang gagawin mo pag pinasahan mo ng gano'n. Jojo Lin is more of a spot shooter, medium range jump shooter, moving around the perimeter. Narod is willing to mix it up on the inside. He misses the first free throw ever. Shell is still on top by two. Shell is going to have to realize that those free throws can mean the difference between victory and defeat. Kasi silang underdogs eh. Kayo ang the team that has to put pressure on the other team. Parang ikaw yung challenger sa corona eh. Yeah. So, you know, and Alaska is willing to give up those fouls. Pag pumasok ka sa loob, di ka bibigyan ng layup na kung po pwede. 
loob ng three-point area si, or sa labas rather, ito si Kenny Redfield na nakakuha. What a job he's doing, scoring and rebounding. Sa assist, hindi, dahil yung mga pinapasaan niya, hindi nakakasyon. <laughs> Uy, palobong tira, ala, ala, nice! That reminds me of Francis Arnaiz in his heyday, but Kenny Redfield getting the points from everywhere. A total of 19, na surpass na po niya ang kanyang produkto noong uh, second game. As we take a look at some more uh, stats here or information, in case of Kieran Kevin Ramos, he was given the shot. Way off the mark. You know, only 10 seconds left. Alaska is also in the penalty, so they can't give up the foul. That last shot, three-point shot. He had up all day to aim there. At mauubos na ang oras. Diyan po nagwawakas ang ating unang dalawang putapat na minuto. Kenny Redfield. Third quarter ng game number three. Formula Shell laban sa Alaska Milk for the Commissioner's Cup Championship. At si Jojo Lim ang unang tumira sa third quarter. Mintis. Oh, yung topic ni Kenny Redfield. Pumasok and he adds on to the lead ng Formula Shell. Ngayon po ay pitong puntos 46-39. But you see a change right away. Hawkins is picking up Kenny Redfield on defense. So, you know, mas mahirap kay Kenny Redfield because of the puck. Ni uh, Kenny, and he's okay. not gonna post him up. He's gonna play him from the outside. We have a loose ball foul call there against Jojo Lim. Uh, cutting uh, Jojo Lastimosa. Redfield has already gone over the 20-point mark personal scoring in this ball game with that tip in 21 for him in the ball game seven point lead here for shell and more exacto yung uh, punto na nabanggit sa akin ng ating boss man si mr bobong velez sabi niya this has been a very well coached and in very intelligent game so far and in fact a series series so far i think uh, per, uh i think uh, both coaches uh you know um, that's a good call that's also a traveling yes that's exactly what I thought Paras did uh, in Kanina. the hour. Uh, oh. uh, but uh, this one, you can see that he stopped and lifted his paper foot as he went up. Well, uh, Formula Shell, mga kaibigan, the way that we talked about has been able to really cut down, minimize the turnovers in game number two. As we told you, they had 20 or 17 turnovers in only 24 minutes. Hoping to get a rebound, kaso naka over passing yung kanyang mga teammates there uh, on the other side. No? The rebounding uh, story here, Dr. Jaren, uh, because the uh, first two games has been some kind of barometer din sa Manalo. Manalo, no? First game, abante ang Formula Shell, 65-41. Second game, abante ang Alaska, 45-44. Uy! Nasagip, napunta ka Saldana, napakahirap doon. And Santos picks up the rebound. Good rebounding sa panic ng Formula Shell. The Saldana is off his offensive game, pero at least he's there willing to help. Santos is going to be open. Comes closer. Good move. Good decision. In other words, take the higher percentage shot, just like the big O, Oscar Roberts. Yes. Romel Santos is on, uh, well, naglaro sa Staten Island, but he phrases his roots of Bustos Bulacan. Tumatala. Oh, he's got the papers from the outside. One of his rare jump shots mula sa about 70 to 20 feet. Pretty good form, yes, uh, in that last jump shot for uh, John Chambers. Still the five-point differential where we started the half. Good hustle, yes. Nagawan si Kenny Redfield, iiwanan ni Abarientos, pinailalim! Oh! That was the shot that he made that we have shown you so many times. Oh, yes. And again, Redfield losing the handle. Dalawang sunod na turnover. Laban kay Kenny Redfield. So Hawkins really guards him well. As long as Hawkins is not in foul trouble and Hawkins is not tired. Oh. I mean, Hawkins makes it much more difficult for Kenny to get around the defensive player. Laban yan eh. Yeah. He's got quick hands, you know. And jump shot from the outside is going to be short. Rebound by Redfield. Looking downstairs. Pilingin ni Benji Paras. Lastimosa lang mga nasa harapan niya. Dodjo Lim almost got the basket. And again, si Paras hinayang na hinayang because Lim actually had a pretty good shot at the basket, Dr. J. Well, you know, na-foul naman yung player. I don't think Paras is going, eh, you know, kung hindi siya na-foul, hindi na nakuha ang tira ay naka-rebound there. He gets fouled hard by the oncoming Winyo. So it's not very easy to make that kind of shot. At si Jojo Lim ngayon pupunta sa free throw line Alam mo naman si Jojo, medyo mas manipis naman niya no? Even though he's about a 6'2", 6'3 player Medyo manipis si Jojo Lim If you compare him to a Saldana or a Paras or Escobar He's more of the small forward, big guard type of player Yes 
he's got pretty good free throw shooting. This is what I saw in the first second game. Now, hindi na siya nagamit sa second half, which really surprised me. I think he needed him in there. No? He was pretty decent in his job against Jojo Lastimosa. Defensive job. John Chambers playing the long, the quarter court, Laban Kiteri Saldana, running shot. Oh, John Chambers personally taking charge for Alaska at the start of this quarter, keeping his team there. Well, nagpapasimula na rin gumawa ng uh, punto si Sean Chambers dito sa second half. Total of 14. Four points in the quarter. The Redfield po ay may dalawang put isang putos. If you want to know the import matchup so far. Benji Paras, pinanggap si Paul Hawkins, no foul. Goes up, yes. Well, these are Class A referees and they're not going to fall for the floppers, no? which means uh, yung kotting banggaan eh, babagsak ka na, gusto mong matawagan na offensive foul. I don't think the referees are going to fall for that. They have so much experience. If the guy uses his shoulders or his hands to push you away, then maybe they give you that call. Uh -huh. Ito ba championship ito eh? Hindi pa ito dito yung kotting bangga. Narito si Abarientos, fall away. Masyado malakas, Redfield. Good boxing out, good position, pushing it up, Paras. Oy, look downstairs, kitang-kita yung pasa. Overpassing on the part of Paras. He had about a 8 to 10 footer right there, and Redfield was waiting, he threw it up in the air. You know, I have a chance of a rebound, just in case you miss. Ito yan. Yeah, that's close, that's a shot that he should take. This is a very interesting stat. Uh, Alaska is 10-2 in this conference in games where it has limited opponents to 45 points or less in the first half. Pero in dalawang talo nila, guess who sinong tumala sa kanila? Sean Milashel. Alam mo, going to this game, they're 3-3 three three in the six games they've played in this conference. Well, Sean Milashel now putting up a nine-point lead. Magang tumayam out ang Alaska Mills. <laughs> Chambers with a short stab after Alaska fell behind by nine. The pitu na lang po ang abante ng Formula Shell sa kasalukuyan. Early timeout called by Alaska Milk, Dr. J. Well, they had no choice. Uh, Shell going to a nine-point lead, seemingly in control of the ball game, and they were letting things slip away, referring to the milkman. Now we have a case of illegal defense charge against Alaska as Bolado, who came in after the timeout to replace Edward Duino, yes. was caught with that violation. Huh? Well, Congressman Gary Tevez. Mm. One of our... Oh, title. And another Gary, Gary Valenciano. And so, daming Gary. Where's oh, Gary Lising? Oh. Well, si Gary Valenciano, alam natin kung sinong uh, pinapanigan niyan. Oh, Na-interview pa yata yun ng first game. Oh. Oh. He was very frank. Yes. Sito sabi niya kaibigan ko rin yung mga nasa Shell. Saldanya, no threat at all there. Yes. Nakita mo si Bolado, sag, sag, sag. Oh, oh. walang tao doon. Good defense. Laban kay Benji Paras, they were right on top of the Tower of Power. Seven-point ball game. Third quarter, game number three ng Commissioner's Cup. Finals, Abarientos. Yes. Oh, nice shot. So off the timeout, two baskets for Alaska and one defensive stop. The lead is back to five. Six and a half minutes left, Tito's a third quarter. Redfield, dulo sa dan, Jojo Lim, yan ang jump shot niya, yes. Spot shooter, yes. that's the kind of player he is. Mahirap yan kung sasaksak pa siya, he doesn't really know what to do, no? If, unless it's a straight layup, no? Alam mo, nabanggit Dr. J ni Butch Maniego, sabi ni Chita Narvaza, we've got to help Kenny Redfield so far in this third quarter. Three players have come out to help Jojo Lim in particular, he has a total of four in this quarter alone. Alam mo yan, natatahinga pa si Tixon, natatahinga pa si Pablo, those are guys that can score. Oy! Medyo mainit doon. Sabi oh. nila, manipis man ako eh. Huwag mo naman ako bubuliin, no? At tuwan-tuwa naman si Ronnie Magsanok. Watch his play. Nabitawa ni Chris Bolado and Jojo Lim just right there. Also, you know, they're holding all over his arms. So, you know, not letting, not letting this go. Oh. <laughs> okay, labas pa ako. <laughs> Medyo paras. Nasa posting ngayon. 5.47 remaining in the third. Dabang kay Chambers. Follow it. Wala. Paras is off 
help his offensive game. But, you know, defensively and rebounding-wise, he has been there to help his team. But offensively, hindi siya makakuha ng buwelo. Ang average niya, 16 points so far, only 8 points si Benji Paras. Masyado mo lang kasabihan Chambers. And Jojo Lim also helping out and rebounding now. Meron ng uh, tatlong rebound. Ito well, si Jojo Lim. <laughs> Good pick! Oh, wala. Saldana is another one who cannot score from those easy range shots, no? Wala eh. You know, he's not yet been used this much in the series, so wala pa siyang kumpiyansa. Oo. Uh -huh. Seven point lead pa rin po para sa Formula Shell. Five minutes and three remaining. Nastimosa. Nasa poste. Pinalobo. Wala na naman. Redfield. Very active sa uh, rebounding. Narito ngayon ang mga nakapute. Kenny Redfield. But quickly, the defense of Alaska is always set up there. Oh, always. Para sinatras ang si Bong Hawkins. Gusto niya na clear out. Nagliit naman ang bantay. At may foul na natawag laban kay Johnny A. That was the biggest mismatch there no? in terms of size. But not siguro sa speed. Hindi naman basta madaling lusutan si Johnny. Mabilis ang kamay niya. Romel Santos, oh, isa foul. Pero may loose ball foul pa. Dobling back block. Ayan, kay Romel Santos. Kala niya, lusot na siya, pero nandun pa rin yung defensa ng Alaska Mills sa pamamagitan ni Bong Hawkins. Second foul ni Romel Santos. But he has given Richie Dixon a good respite on the bench, plus preservation of the three personal fouls that Dixon has. Shell has managed to stay above water and even added on to its five-point lead. Yes. Barrientos, pinututukan ni Romel Santos. Good pick. The Hawk. Yes. Special team. Wong Hawkins now. Eight points in the game. At dahan-dahan na rin umiilaw yung kanyang score sheet dito sa atin. Kenny Redfield. Legal na naman. Bolato is always going to sag up Saldana who is playing about 30 feet away from the basket. No threat nga, sabi nga natin, that's going to be a technical foul shot because pangalawang offense na nangyari yan sa Alaska Milkman. Again, pagkata nga taas, dito ang masin take a look at Jody Lynn, Nolly Yala po, kasama si Dr. J. Para sa Vintage Sports, VTV Primeline Network at IBC TV 13. Samantala, Victor Pablo, Jolly Escobar, Richie Dixon checking in para kay Saldana Paras at uh, Romel Santos. So, three-man substitution, Dr. J. Well, they get the rest. They've got the big players on the floor right now and they've got a good lead. You know, advantage talaga sa kanila. But the bad pass there by Kenny Redfield. Okay. Nabawi. Bilis talaga rin ng mata at kamay nito si Kenny Redfield. Pablo asking for the alley pero hindi kaya. Walang angulo. Jodulin, turnaround shot. Shooter has that height advantage shooting over Jojo. Balik sa Ocho. Dahan-dahan na nakukuha ng kumpiyansa na naman ito si Jojo Lima na Dr. J. You know, that's why I keep on harping that he should have been used in the second half. And this is where he was missed the last game. Kaya po na nabagkit mga partner. Balik sa Ocho ang abante ng Super Unleaded. Oh-ho! Three-point play para kay Sean Chambers. Coming up. At may si Jolly Escobar, pang-apat na ni Escobar. That's the 13th foul ng Formula Shell. Tatlo rin po ang tangan-tangan ng Alaska Mill. 3 and 20 remaining and this is a terrific pick mula kay Sean Chambers. Gets the three-point play. Bumaba sa lima ang abante ng Formula Shell. 3 and 14 remaining sa third quarter. There was that intention to foul on the part of Kenny Redfield. He wasn't going to give him the left leg up. He held him down, but he also tried to make sure that he wasn't going to get hurt when he fell down. We have a timeout. Ang tapikan, ang dalawang import, ito sa laban ng ito, Sean Chambers and Kenny Redfield. 
Chambers not fouled hard to Kenny Redfield, pero taong ba ito? Baliwala yun. And I think he knows that uh, another fellow import is not really out there to hurt him. It was a hard foul, but before he was down, hinahawakan na ni Redfield. Uh -huh. Made sure that he wasn't gonna fall badly. Wilfred takes it all in strike. His team has made a comeback, down by nine at a certain point in this quarter, now only down by four. Basically on the work of Chambers, huh? oh, offensively, yes. Chambers has been it for them in this quarter. Looking at num the numbers of Chambers, sampung puntos na ginagawa sa third quarter, total of 20, naabutan niya na si Kenny Redfield na may B21 pa lang after making 19 in the first half. Asimov are picking up the loose ball at may foul na naman. Itatawag laban sa Formula Shell si Victor Pablo. Mahatulan uh, will be number one on Victor Pablo. Well, 15 foul now on Formula Shell. During that timeout, pinalitan ni Peter Naron si Jojo Lin. He usually makes that kind of shot. Yes. Kaso nasundo si Naron, hindi, naka, hindi pumasok. But still a four-point lead here for Shell. Alaska is coming back. Only 2.24 remaining sa ating third quarter. Abaryan has kept the screen. Yes. A shot. They've come back here for Alaska. You know, they're holding up under the pressure you know, that uh, Shell is providing. Ten points para kay Johnny A. At dalawa na lang po ang uh, abante ng Formula Shell. Kenny Redfield has been substantially silenced. It is the third quarter. Dixon, three-point shot. Oh, Offline, way, off way off. Ayun na si Chambers, way out there in front. Yes, nakita ni Johnny. He goes for the running shot. Uy, wala. Almost a sure shot para kay Sean Chambers. Medyo pinipin niya ng konti yun. Good pass a lot. Peter Naron, good fake. Goes under. Wala. Pablo, offensive rebound. Wala pa rin. And loose ball. Hawkins na nakakuha. Well, Hawkins was going all over the back of his own team. Ni Chambers, <laughs> natumutulak na. Hindi kasi alam ni Chambers. Sino ba itong maapak sa akin dito? <laughs> Sabi ni Zan, nung araw ko pinakamalakas dito. <laughs> Barrientos, medyo nag-hesitate. Narin ito si Lastimosa ngayon. Five seconds sa kanilang shot clock. Chambers, jump shot. Wala pa rin. And tap out. Wala ng formula siya. Kailangan ito ng Dr. J. Benji Paras kami na. You know, kaya nga nahihirapan si Kenny Redfield. He cannot get his teammates to score. So, anong nangyayari sa kanya dito whenever his team, double team, is looking for a scorer. Now, unless his teammates help him, he's not going to be free at all. No. Para hindi siya makakita ng dalawa kaharap niya when he's about 10, 12 feet away from the basket. Hindi na siya makapunta sa post because Hawkins is the one guarding him. Yes. Napako na ang Formula 12 sa Simpron Pen. Maybe, pero finally... Pasad ni Richie Tixon, his second triple V. At si Richie Tixon ay meron na pong 6 uh, points in the ballgame. So far, I think that's the biggest weapon that they have found to beat the double teaming uh, you know, for the Shell team, the hitting the three-point shot. Chambers, off balance shot. Uh, Tatapit palabas ni Penny Redfield. 32.5 seconds left sa third quarter. First 24 second shot clock. Which will probably be uh, two plays coming up for us. Although Alaska is not yet in the penalty. Lastimosa, umahalap ng tuwa. Masyadong malakas ang tira ngayon. Redfield, natanganan. They don't have to rush it if uh, they need to go for the last shot. They'll have plenty of time to execute their plays. But Redfield is still in the backcourt, just barely beating that 10-second uh, shot clock. Less than a second differential between uh, the game clock and the shot clock. Although Alaska has two fouls to give. They should use it, I think. Redfield, nilabas Pablo, nasa kanto, corner jumper. Yes, good side. What a way to end the quarter on Formula Shell, regaining a seven-point lead. Pagkatapos na lang ani bito para sa Formula Shell at ang Alaska Milk ang may tanga ng bola ngayon. Well, five seconds left on their shot clock. Medyo gusto dumak ni Bolado pero na foul siya don so he goes to the free throw line. Victor Pablo na tawagan naman yung second personal foul on this last play. Bolado, favorite left-handed dunk shot. Medyo hindi pumasok. He was fouled by Victor Pablo. Tukunin natin itong pagkakataon na ito upang uh, anyayahan Dr. J ang ating mga televiewers. Touchdown 96. Magpapasimula po sa Webes, September 5. Yan po ang 
NFL, yung football action sa Amerika. Alas 10 medyo ng gabi hanggang alas 12 ng hating gabi. This week featuring Dallas versus Pittsburgh, ang replay ng Super, Super Bowl 30. At ang, ang, ang inyong mga host doon, Butch Maniego kasama si Anthony Suntay and Coach Norman Black ng San Miguel Beer. Again, touchdown 96. Dito lang po sa VTV Primetime Network. Scoring by quarters. Well, ang shell, namayani pa rin sa third quarter. Behind good scoring effort mula kay Joe Julim at saka si Victor Pablo. Na illegal defense on shell doon. That will mean a technical foul called against their team. Nahihirapan silang uh, sa kanilang formation because of the good passing uh, being displayed by the milkman. Si Johnny ang titira ng technical free throw shot. Ano ba, Dr. J, bagamat napigilan si uh, Kenny Redfield no third quarter, only two points. Pero ibang ba, mga tao sa Shell suddenly stepped up and responded. Yes, definitely. Katulad nila Pablo, I think uh, Jojo Lim certainly helped. Naron was there. 40 out of 40 for Johnny Abariento since July 21 from the free throw line. Yes. Hindi siya na-bothered ng statistic ni Willie Marshall doon. Well, Asok pa rin. Narod si Bong Hongan sa labas. Rebound ni Narod. Yun ang mga natutulong ni Naron at saka ni Jojo Lim. Basta na hindi sila makasyot, nakakatulong sila sa riba. Because they're big players. Oh, Shell is relying on its big players. Now they're going big, if you notice. The only small players playing in this ball game for them is Nixon and Santos. Yes. They're not using Marzan, they're not using Lado. They're all going big all the way. No? Big players, guys that can shoot. And very agile. Si Naron is very agile. Yeah. Si because they're Pablo. all lean. Eh. Yes. Kenny Redfield fouled at the free throw line. Abanggit na yung record ni Johnny Abariantos, 40 out of 40 so far since uh, his last game, uh, yung min unang huling mintis niya against Santa Lucia back in July 21. Ang ating conference and season record, hawak ni Alan Kaidik, 70 straight. Pagkatalang ang all-time streak, hawak din ni Alan Kaidik, 76 straight. Malayo pa si Johnny doon. Yep, not that easy yun. Oo. Oh. Meanwhile, Redfield puts in two very important free throws to give back Shell a seven-point lead with a minute and 15 seconds gone by here in the fourth and final quarter. Salamat nga pala sa ating uh, mga statisticians, si Fidel Mangonan at si Willie Marcel. Double teaming against Johnny, gets away, almost gets that ball stolen. Two seconds sa kanilang shot clock, binato ni Joe Abarientos in a big, big foul here called... As Abarientos ran out of space and time, Benji, Benji Paras ang tatawagan na foul. I don't think he's in foul trouble, but you see him lunge there against Johnny, comes in strong on the body. Johnny didn't get off the shot. Alam ko, may chance then pumasok actually yun. Kaya ba ito naman? Nako. There it is. There it is, Willie. Yes. Put it up there. Banggit. Hindi, saka parang mahirap naman talaga. Oh. Everybody misses. No? Mahirap yun. May oras na pagod ko eh. Napunta ka sa free throw line. Hindi naman sa nagdadasal si Alan dahil alam ni Alan. That's a very hard thing to follow. Seven, eh, two misses pa nga. Ah. Yung nag-miss, tuloy-tuloy na. Tuloy-tuloy na. Ibilangin <laughs> <laughs> mo nga yung sunod-sunod na miss naman. <laughs> Kino kaya number one doon? <laughs> si Shaquille. 66-59. Redfield missing a layup. Naki Pablo, napulot ang bola. Ilalabas siya kay Dixon. Lipe sa tres. Whoa! That's not a huh? flying A, but an accidental contact. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Don't worry about it. Even flying A with a flying kick. <laughs> Almost rode his back. It's not the kick, but the hands are coming on the face. Also trying to protect himself from a bad fall. Part of the game. Tunay ba ito ni Dixon yan? Hindi, three free throws. Yeah, definitely. Oh. Definitely. Definitely. Ito po ang abante ng 4-minute jail. 10 minuto, nalalabi. Good fake. Goes up. Pero nandun si Abarientos. Hands of uh, Johnny Abarientos helping out. Ariaso sa akal! Butat ang butatahan ni Benji Paras. And usually, Cariaso gets those uh, drives and layups on the break. Samantala, may foul na tawag sa poste. Victor Pablo may be called for another foul. Pablo will pick up number three now. But watch this block. Grabe itong sapal na to. Good Pan. timing there oh. by Benji Paras. Tira si Cariaso sa labas. Mintis. Redfield. 
and they will slow it down. But he sees no opportunity for a fast break because most of the red shirts are already beginning to come back. Only that in the basketball sense, the Kenny Redfield. Yeah. He'll shoot that jumper. Oh, Cariaso cannot afford to look at that. Naron is going to hurt you. Naron and Lynn playing that number two, number three position in tandem with Kenny Redfield. They've hurt. They've really helped the team. Well, on si puntos na po si Peter Naron at siguradong nagsasaya ang mga pigil late. Abarretos na tapikan sa likod. And this will be a foul. An advantage foul. An advantage foul. Mervyn Castello, matawagan ng foul, pangatlong foul na yan At pangatlong team foul ng Alaska Milk But once again, ito yung tapik ni Mitchie Tixon, advantage foul ang itinawag Tinangana ni Mervyn Castello yeah. you, you see Redfield there, but uh, in front of Redfield, past the half line was already Richie Tixon yes. A pass would have meant an easy layup That's why the advantage foul was called And in Redfield, making a return trip to Pilipinas. Almost didn't play the long import ng pinalam pina tiningnan ng shell. Bago tiningnan si Kenny Redfield, they had some they had some doubts as to his physical makeup at the time. But right now, Kenny Redfield vowed he would take Shell to the finals, and they have done so. Mr. Eli Santiago, Vice President of Marketing ng Shell, obviously very happy sa ginangyayari ngayon sa Formula Shell. They're on top by 11 points. Well, yung hit man nila, according as we see, a foul, or is it a illegal defense called against Formula Shell? Napasak na si Ray Pampot, no? Sa mga nga, sa mga rosa, ang pagdoba. Eh, sinabinabanggit niya na si Rainer na Wilhelm is in Europe. He'll be back for Game 5. Pero meantime, nakikinig rin sila. Meron siyang takatawag sa kanya, kaibigan ko naman si Ed Mapa. So, he's really following the game. Parang nung panahon na nandun si Don Jaime sa London. Hook up, Galapon. O si Joey Concepcion, my friend El Mariana. Yes. Diyan yan eh, these are... Diyan yung management support. The intangible, siga nga sa kampiyonato. Erwin Castello, binigay ang tres. Tumira ng tres. Pasok ang tres. Second triple B and big three-point shot by Castello. Cuts the lead down to seven right now. Ito si Castello. Dr. J, hindi mo pwedeng pabayaan yan. 50% shooter yan mula sa labas. Three-point range. Dalawa na dito sa larong ito. I'm gonna see the shuffle of the feet there by Naron. He's one of the best in that. But as he made that jump shot, as Cariaso follows him. 8 minutes 15 remaining sa ating final quarter. It's a 7-point lead para sa Formula Shell. Chambers. Malayo pa yan. Castello na naman. Bibigay ang tres. Lumabas si Paras. Oh, yung pasan niya. Naagaw ni Ron. Naron, looking behind. He goes up. Uses the left. And Peter Naron playing the game of his life here. 13 points in the ball game. Balik sa siya mga bante ng Formula Shell. The big advantage is he's a left-hander. So hindi mablanka ni Castello yun. He was protecting the ball with the left. An offensive foul by... Bolado. And ang Alaska falling apart now, Dr. J. At least in this stage, very disorganized. Offensively, they've turned over the ball twice in a row. Tingnan nyo itong tilayap ni Peter Naron. Sinignan pa niya. Well protected. Alam niya where the guy was going to be. So he's protecting the ball with his hands, with his body. At the same time, left-handed player siya. Easy left-handed layup para sa kanya. Tomas, pinotan si Chris Bolado, Dr. J. Nagkaroon ng palitan ngayon sa matchup. Yes, we have... Chambers picking up Redfield and Benji Paras being picked up by Hawkins. Oh. Pablo is being guarded by Lastimoso. There's an advantage for Jojo, for uh, Pablo, but he does not make the jump shot. Amaretos. Boy, one-handed lead pass. Gives it to Chambers. Goes up. Yes, and Nick. Oh, no foul, but a good basket. Malaki Sean Chambers on a good fast break. Come on, Nakalas Camille. Well, just a seven-point lead for Shell. Both teams have preserved their timeouts, and nobody has called a single timeout, not even a 20. Nearing the seven-minute mark, Redfield, Dabagay champion, Chambers. And there's a foul. Alawani, Sean Chambers. At magkakapatid pa lang alas, Camille, the Formula Shell ay may tatlo. Redfield, big game, 26 points, 8-17 rebounds. Oh, what a big game. Yeah, 
two points in the third quarter, 19 in the first half, making his free throw shots here in the fourth quarter. You know, one important that you make the free throw shots in a close game in the fourth quarter. Back to a nine point lead, 657. This is the biggest lead of the ball. Game. Oh, no. Shell, I think, had an 11 point yes. lead at one time. 70-59 yung uh, huling 11 puntos na kalamangan ng 4 minutes left. Matalas kay ni Redfield, mahatulang ang kanyang tatlong personal foul. And Merwin Costello checking back in. Papalitan naman si Johnny Abariento. So this is a bigger lineup. Bigger lineup, yes. Uh, they want to take advantage. Okay, let's also pose up or put Costello there on Pixon, who's going to have a disadvantage. Lastimosa has been very silent so far. And he gets clobbered. May kasamang foul. Peter Naron will pick up his second personal foul. Remember Dr. Jason Lastimosa had, uh, has a total of five. Three points in the first quarter. Dalawa lamang sa second quarter. But he still has 6.41 to go. Yes. And he's going to the free throw line where he's an excellent free throw shooter. So obviously you get some points if he keeps on going there. Now Shell already in the penalty with five team fouls. Uh, Alaska has four, which is one away from getting into the penalty after they give up a foul. Now, six minutes and 40 seconds left. Seven point lead. Low scoring ball game. The way both teams like it. Yes. deflected by uh, Castello a little bit. He was able to get his hands on the, on the shot of Tixon. So, ang Alaska ngayon, nagkatangkang lapyasin ang abante ng Formula Shell. They're down by seven here. Hawkins, nasa poste. In inikutan, almost got the scoop shot. Para may foul na itatawag laban kay Benji Paras. Pangatlong foul yan kay Benji Paras. Chito Narvasa in his first championship as a head coach done a tremendous job he is a panic of Formula 7 having some problems on the free throw line this can smile it off Lynn is coming in for Peter Naron we have Romel Santos standing by to replace Dixon maybe coach uh, Cohn may react immediately with sending back in Abarientos and back in a list of the Dixon Well, Hawkins, most improved player in 1994, a split from the line. Six-point lead, six minutes, which is the halfway mark of this fourth and final quarter. It's on. Hinaharap ni Merwin Castello. Goes inside. Nilabas ki Kenny Redfield. Sa isa sa kanila shot clock. Atalabas pa rin si Kenny Redfield. He throws up a prayer. And that was a prayer. That was a brick. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> nasagot. Hawkins ngayon. Just a six-point lead. Inside pass. Cariasa gets it slapped away. Si Bader Tumapakalingan. Oh, outside na si Pablo in that play. Let's see, Romel Santos will check in now for Richie Tixon. 5 and 35 remaining in the ball game. Ito pong larong ito has been a close one. Biggest lead has been 11 para sa Shell, para sa Alaska Lima. They led early in this game number 3. Sa Natala, may foul na naman. If it's on lead, it's also a technical, it's a, also a penalty shooting situation. Pampitong team foul na ng uh, Shell. Pangatlong foul yan ni Jojo Lim, and you're right. Shooting. Shooting close line. line, yes. Well, umala si Jojo, he knows that that's another way to go and make points. No? Tignan natin, nasa penalty pala kalaban. Okay. Any time that they give up a defensive foul, I go to the free throw line. And last of all, gets both. And don't look now. Apat na lamang po ang abante ng form in the shell. Was at 11. Limang minuto, dalawang pun, dalawang pun saglit. You know, both coaches are refusing to play. They're refusing to call a timeout here. Redfield, Pinihitan's chambers, and there's a foul given up by Sean. 
shooting only two out of eight. He's got his points from the free throw line. Si Hawkins, tatlo out of nine shots. Si Carriasso rin, two out of eight. So, ang Alaska has been shooting blanks. At least yung kanilang inaasahan gumawa ng puntos. Yeah, well, Elmer Bass is going a little wild here, but he's keeping himself in check. Uh, at the same time, uh, Las Itimosa, like I said, has been making a living off the free throw line. Dahan-dahan na pong bumaba ang ating orasan. Four and a half na lang ang nalalabi. Romel Santos. May foul na naman bibigay si Sean Chambers. Ang apat na. Well, a very good foul because you are also now in the penalty and Kenny was not in any way a threat to shoot. Yes. He didn't even have the ball. So, binibigyan mo siya ng pagkakataon pumuntos via the free throw line. Napalathat, lathala sa ating pahayagan na Kenny Redfield Bowed and promised after game, uh, your second game with the Philippines after two losses. Na dadaling ko kayo, bubuhatin ko kayo patungo sa finals. And he has done so. Right now, kampionato na ang tinitingnan ni Kenny Redfield. Although this is series is a long ways off. Mitis na kanyang second free throw. After a string of five straight charities, he misses one here in the fourth quarter. So it's an odd five-point lead right now for Shell. Four and 17 remaining. Sa poste na naman si Lastimosa against Dojo Lee. Turns around. Kinaman ang butiki. And Dojo clears the boards very quickly, no? Four minutes. This is what you call the red zone time. This is winning time. Romel Santos. Wala. Chambers rebounds. Kenny Redfield may have sprained his ankle there. He's slow coming down. Hawkins, bumaybay ng baseline. At tumawag ng foul si referee Ernie De Leon. Again, ayaw pa rin magka-time out itong dalawang coaches. <laughs> Paras, picking up his fourth personal foul. Well, at this stage, baliwala na yan. Baliwala na yan, oh. Bakbaka na ito, no? Tatlo na nakukuha ni Paras dito sa fourth quarter. Pero talagang he's not giving up any layups na doktor niya. Oh. The question is how much that injury affected Redfield. No? Pagtalo niya on that previous play. Romeo Santos had a three-point shot. Could have been the biggest shot of the ball game. Yes. But they missed. Well, si Romeo Santos, dito sa sharing ito, has really struggled. Only averaged five points after doing much better sa semifinals. Dito sa larong ito, only two points so far. Matala. Okay. Missing that one. Anaki Redfield and lose ball. Apat po ang abante ng Formula Shell. 3.40 remaining. Yan kayong kikirap. Ito na. Hawkins better close that baseline to Benji. Benji's gonna spin back on him in that play. Redfield. Seven seconds ako nila shot clock. Kicks it out. Paras. Turns. Goes up. Wala. Oh, that's gonna be a loose ball foul on Lastimosa holding down Kenny Redfield. Preventing him from that rebound play. No? Huling huli ni referee Daleo niya. Watch this. Yeah, Look at Lastimosa. He, he, you see, Redfield is jumping up. Lastimosa is holding him down. So he cannot even jump towards the ball. No? Nasa penalty na po ang dalawang pupunan. So si Kenny Redfield ay muling pupunta sa four and a half meter line. Samantala, itong unang timeout, itong quarter na to. Oh, it's a 27. Again, welcome Philippines. Magandang gabi po. Noli, yala po kasama si Dr. J. Andy Howe. 
para sa game number 3 ng Alaska laban sa Shell Championship. Game 4 will happen on Tuesday. Ano man ang mangyayari dito sa laro nito, meron po tayong game 4. Yan po, dito rin sa Conecta Asido, matangin yung mga kasama si Ed Fixon and Kinito Henson. Well, meron rin siguro ng game 5, you know, whatever happens. Well, before that game, Dr. J, sa game 4, meron tayong awarding of yes. the best player of the conference well, at yung best in import. Yes, that should be a nice uh, balloting. Both teams will just finish, I think, tonight. So that should be uh, quite an interesting sight to see who's going to win this, uh, those two awards. Oh. Matala ito tanong ito, 6-point lead, ang abante ng 4-minute shell. Hawkins taking a long jumper at may foul na itinawag. Loose ball foul will be called. Lapang kay Sean Chambers, they are in the penalty. But more importantly, si Sean Chambers will now pick up his fifth personal foul. So you see a lot of holding and banging here. And then this play, Hawkins knew he had missed the three-point shot. Chambers called for the loose ball foul. They are also in the penalty. Paras goes to the throw line. Now, Paras has not win much of a scorer tonight. Only eight, no? Scoreless in the fourth quarter. Played some minutes in the first. Nahihirapan siya to get his shots. I think he's even a little bit gun-shy, no? In fact, madalawang rebound pa lamang. Ito si Benji Paras, so... Obviously, Paras has not been on top of his game. So, Mandala, yung kanyang free throw, walang aling. You know, Shell is just a much better team than people give them credit oh, for. That's oh, it. Tamayan. You know, when I talked to Bobby Parks just way before their playoff game with him, I said, I'm glad to play with this team in the third conference because it's a much more complete team, you know. You've got everybody in the right position. You've got some big players there. They're going to help us. Wala pa si Magsanak yun. Wala pa. Bola para nila. Oh, oh pinaltaan, pinaltaan. Okay. Mali daw, sabi niya. Sabi ni referee Baile Des. Mali, ako, ako nagkamali. It's great to see somebody admit a mistake. You know? Marap yung iba, ayaw mo yan. <laughs> Kahit na naman yung Dr. J. <laughs> Sitong putos po ang abante ng form na siya. <laughs> Alright, Abariantos now. Time to take charge and he does. The lead is down to five. Johnny Abarientos with a total of 14. And later you're going to see Alaska now press, really try to put the pressure and come up with the steal. Sirap na hirap si Jojo Lee. Hindi niya mahanap si Redfield or si Tixon. Two and 27. 12 seconds of shot clock ng Formula Shell. At nasa long court pa si Kenny Redfield. Well, that's still a lot of time. The Abaras going to his right. All away. Wala. Neighbors with a rebound. Big time basket that Paras couldn't put in, no? Hindi malamang ito, mga kaibigan. And we're up for a, another cliffhanger. Samantala, illegal D ang tatawag ng referees. That will mean another free throw para sa Alaska Mill. Plus possession of the ball. Yes. Nasa 2.06 mark po tayo. This is anybody's ball game at this stage. Oh, certainly. The team is ready to call a timeout. It might be a 20-second timeout after the free throw shot. He's asking for his blackboard. No problem para kay Jojo Lastimos. There it is. He's going to ask for the 20. Yes, from the field. Huh? Well, it's not that easy to shoot, you know. You've got to give credit to the other team's defense and they've got big men guarding some of your men. So, it's not that easy. And, you know, Alaska still managed to stay in there. They're only down by four, two minutes and six. They have possession of the ball. Another one of those low-scoring ball games, total of 156 points only for both teams right now. Well, you know, the trend of this series is the defense, no, Dr. J? I think that if Alaska wins, they're the only team that has won by seven points twice in the games against Shell. If, if they get to the 90s, most probably Alaska will always win. Unless it's a blowout by Shell. But most probably, yung sa dikit-dikit ng labanan, I think Alaska has more firepower. It's just a matter of finding it. <laughs> well, ang Shell has lived and really died with their defense. Tanda natin, they have come here on a playoff and they're making the most out of their opportunity now. Apat po ang abante ng Formula Shell at isa na namang foul. Ang tinawag ni referee Varela this time, ni Jolly Escobar. Guys, the most useless foul you can ever see and Narvasa certainly was not happy. Why? Hindi nagamit ang clock. Eh, kumakat lang yun and, uh, you know, Escobar holds him down. So that's a foul. That's three throw shots. Pang lima na Jolly Escobar, Sean Chambers at the line. 
most useless foul. He was just coming from the weak side to the strong side. No, not in position, really. He didn't even get the pass yet. So a quick substitution here. Pablo comes in. And Shell has had its way in the third quarter and the fourth quarter, except now in the end game, because oh. Alaska is now threatening and threatening and threatening. Well, kapalik pa rin ito ng game one, if ever. Kamaya natin ng game one, dominated by Alaska. Shell oh. came back, minkis ang second free throw. Rebound by Benji Paras. Nasa last two minutes na po tayo. Ang last two minutes, ay hatid sa inyo ng Tanduay Ram Jr. Lapad. Tanduay, the number one run. So, okay, naalis na yung isang timeout ng Alaska. Hindi nila ginamit, no? They've got three. Makakawala si Redfield. He In finds it. Pablo. Wide open! Assist for Kenny Redfield, but there's somebody to hit that big shot. Big time basket para kay Victor Pablo. Pablo with a total of 13. Only his first two points in the fourth quarter. But remember, in the third quarter, si Pablo din ang nagbuhos ng huling puntos nila. Hawkins, six seconds na kanila shot clock. Nabulabog, nilabas nila Stimosa. Three on their shot clock. Kicks it out. Amarientos, bailout shot. Wala. Rebound. Nobody's ball. Fix it up, fix it up. Oh, that's a big rebound play. Now you're up by five, one minute and 13. You've got 20 seconds to use. You're going to use that. Oh, yes. And look at Pixar now. Play the clock. A minute and five. They've got 11 seconds. Redfield, ang may hawak. Laban kay Jeffrey Cariaso. Four seconds. Ang kanila shot clock. Jump shot. Rebound. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. what a shot. Penny Redfield. From three-point range, at nagbigay siya ng walong puntos na kalamangan, may timeout ang Alaska. Yan na po ang lalabing oras, eight-point lead para sa formula shell. Marsan is in the ballgame, pinotan si Richie Dixon. Hawkins goes inside, no basket. And that could be it, you know. Alaska had every chance yet at that point. They needed a quick two and they, they almost got it. But now, eight-point lead, 38 seconds, you know, the clock is not on their side. Shell is going to pull off its second victory here in these finals, no? Ilang beses ang formula siya. Oh, a good steal. Para ito si Chambers ngayon. Dalawang putlimang saglit na lang po na iiwan. Aparientos, they're looking for a three-point basket. That's a three-point shot. Wala. Rebound. Napunta sa wala. Bola ng formula shell. And Dixon is about to come in to replace Marsan. Offensive side na ito. Alaska. Dr. J, ilang beses na dumatawag ang uh, Formula Shell and Kenny Redfield deserves this rest. Look, listen to this crowd. Para kay Kenny Redfield, again, as I was saying, ilang beses na tumawag ang Formula Shell sa pambihirang composure ni Kenny Redfield. And again, pinakita niya, when money is on the line, you got, you want the ball on his hands. This, I think, is the biggest win by a Shell over Alaska in this conference. And he's already walking to the opposite side, so is his opposing coach. Diyan po nagwawakas ang laro ng game number 3, Formula Shell winning this game 3, 85 to 77. At again, nagkamayan at nagyakapan ang dalawang coaches. Again, our final score, nagwaki ang Formula Shell 85-77, taking a 2-1 advantage dito sa ating Commissioner's Cup.